So about a week ago, I posted this video talking about how Yao Yao from Genshin and Jane Do from Zenless Zone Zero share the same voice actor and while it did have a lot of funny reactions, there was also one question that people kept asking in the comments, which is, where did the song that I played in the outro come from? For context, this is the segment that I played in that video's outro. For those of you wondering, that song comes from Jane Doe's character teaser video titled Under Arrest, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like they'll be releasing it in an EP form like they did with all the other Zenless characters, more than likely because that song is pretty much a Zenless remake of one of the most iconic American songs in history, which is the Eagles' Hotel California. Anyone who has a bit of music interest in their life or has a dad who likes this band would have probably noticed it the second the first few notes of the theme played in Jane's teaser. And to Hoyo's credit, I think they did a pretty good job at making both the parody of the song and the reference itself. At least that's what I can tell from the sections of the song that we were able to listen to. The rest of you were probably just too busy getting turned on by a sexy rodent. Changing. I don't want to step out in disguise, right? <laughs> You've got something to clean up too, don't you? I don't blame you. Plus, that ending was so unnecessary, no matter how true it might have been for some people. But it all got me thinking, I still sorta wanna listen to at least some sort of rendition of it. I like the way they changed the lyrics and the song, so it wouldn't be too bad to be able to have a listen every now and then. The only other version that exists, however, at least on YouTube, is this AI-assisted version made by this guy called J Guy Gaming. It's a decent try, but I think both the lyrics and the melodies quickly went out of rails, and you know, you can't get that AI sound out of the final thing eventually. You just it's just stuck there. So after all that. I just kind of thought, hmm, should I try making one, you know? Though as soon as I thought about it, I just sort of realized that, one, I can barely play guitar, I can barely sing, nor can I do all the other musically technical things that I need to do, like mixing and recording, that's all gonna be needed to make a cover of anything. Two. I have no clue how the rest of the song should sound like. And number three, which was the one reason that kinda almost threw me off from doing the entire thing, is the fact that probably none of us understood more than a quarter of the words that the singer was actually vocalizing. <laughs> Mostly due to the obvious overlaying dialogue, the radio filter on the song that made it all the much harder to understand anything, and the slight fact that we can barely understand the singer in the first place. But at the end of the day, instead of just sitting there and twiddling my thumbs thinking of whether I should do it or not do it, I dusted off my insanely old copy of Ableton and instead of just using it only to record the narration I usually do for my other videos, I decided to try and use it for its original purpose. Making music. And finally, after days of just sitting there and completely forgetting how any of these silly little knobs work, making sure that my mic doesn't fall off the desk whenever I try to reposition it, I finally sort of got the hang of it again. Kinda. You know, I took this random electronic music class in my final year of uni and it was mostly just me trying to recall whatever it is I can remember from that class. So. Whatever result I had in the end is probably gonna make any of you who have music producer ears possibly bleed to death. I'll talk about the rest of the process later on, and I'll get to the part that you guys probably want to see the most, which is what I was able to cobble up with my limited capabilities and my experience. I was only able to make a shortened version so far, cause I got sick halfway through making the thing, but anyways, here's what I got so far, so enjoy? Ok, 
take it as a surprise Lip stain in the moonlight You got me in the spell You got my head a-spinning You are my bell, can you sound? These tears are gonna end up torrential You're running out of secret And I'm your only smoke Can't help but think that you are jealous We're alive Cause we see through your disguise And threw away the way you lie You are the predator And I'm the prey Baby you were gone Baby you were gone Baby you were dangerous Baby you were dangerous That thing just so you know And your calm is just for show Don't come lie to me Show me the real referee You are the terror, don't you know? And if that's gone The peace is dangerous And there you go! I, that's about all I can make for now and all about that I'm comfortable putting out at the moment. <laughs> Feel free to let me know what you guys think. Please go easy on me. Hmm. It was quite an interesting process, honestly, because I don't usually make full-fledged covers like this. Normally, I just slap my phone on a chair or something and get my guitar and just go play and sing, you know? And no mixing, no recording into a proper mic, and no having to actually know how to use a DAW, and I can just call it a day. But even before I had to do all that, figuring out the lyrics was another difficult cookie on its own. Because I really wanted to at least get somewhere close to what the singer is actually saying in the song. So things like intonation, syllables, and the ghost of the words that they might be saying are things that I really tried to take into account when I began transcribing the lyrics. Fortunately, I have the English Lit side of my degree to help me bullshit the words to a believable point when it comes to the parts that are just complete gibberish. Whether it is due to it being overlaid by dialogue and video sounds or just because I cannot for my life understand what the singer is saying. Unfortunately, the teaser itself ramps up in dialogue and also turned down the volume of the song Literally, Jane is lowering the volume knob of the radio in the teaser, and all that happened pretty early on in the video, so I had the rest of this to try and figure out on my own. So for some good couple of hours, some random days of the past week, it was just me going like this. <laughs> Trust me, even for someone who's written both a bazillion essays and hundreds of thousands of words in delirious fanfictions, this was quite an experience. I actually made about 80 to 90% of the lyrics that I need for the full song, it's just that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the rest of the composition. Although fortunately, figuring out the song's composition itself was, of course, rather simple. I just needed to look for the chords to Hotel California and both to my surprise that really shouldn't be there and the elation of my sanity. I kid you not, the main chords of this teaser song are literally the verse chords of Hotel California. It's just that they play it a full step down. The chords of Hotel California is here. Meanwhile, the teaser song itself, you just take off the capo and play the exact same thing just, you know, in the first fret. So it was all thankfully pretty easy to figure out. So that made assembling the chords and rhythm and everything else to be thankfully very easy. The hard part only comes when I record. Because while I am alright with following a metronome and recording manually, I'm very bad at mixing anything really. Recording vocals in itself have always been tricky in my own experience and throw in recording an acoustic guitar with the same mic and having to shift my mic arm every time I need to change what to record. 
became a headache on its own. In the end, I just stuck to what I know and I tried my best to get it to sound somewhere along the lines of my initial expectations. I was dead set on just making an acoustic version of the song, both because I thought it would have worked just fine and also to, honestly, eliminate any other potential sources of things that will sound like shit in the mix. But the more I tried to review the project with the song that's on the teaser, the more I realized, damn it, I need the drums. And it's funny because actually I am first and foremost a drummer when it comes to my music capabilities, so people would have probably thought, hey, that's, that's your area of comfort, so it shouldn't be an issue, right? Well, the thing is, playing drums is fun and all, but when you want to try to properly record one, it's a massive pain in the bumhole. Because you can probably tell just by looking, you need to mic up all these different parts of the drums if you want it to sound good and proper. I don't even have all that going for me in this picture where I set up my drums for recording and this was still a pain to set up by myself. So the alternative was to use a MIDI. And as someone who's played drums for more than half of my life, I've never really liked programming drum midis. But I had to swallow my ick and I was thankfully able to find a decent stock drum sound from Ableton itself and found a pad collection that sounds like it will more likely do more than just the job itself. So after tweaking with some of the sounds of these samples, I was finally ready to lay a beat down. And I just found another stock bass sound to give the whole thing a bit more glue. Though it is worth mentioning that if I do end up working my way into making the long and completed version of this cover, then I'd probably want to at least get an actual bass recording instead of it just being a MIDI. Drums I can still swallow and drown up in my ears, but bass kinda needed to be a real thing, you know. Plus, I do think it's only fitting that the complete version, should it come to fruition, will have a proper guitar solo on it just like the original. Now I can't solo for shit. Nor do I have the effects to try and bullshit my way through making one, so I'm just gonna see if any one of my music friends is gonna wanna do me a solid and crack one out for me. And that's about it really. After adding some nice little final touches that I wanted to test around with, I was finally happy with the version that I managed to cobble up. It probably sounds like crap, but hey, it's the best we got so far unfortunately. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me go through this learning process, and for my regular viewers, if <laughs> there are any of you, I apologize if this content is not what you're used to, but I'm trying to see if I can sort of expand my content to a lot of different facets. I'm s I still love making your typical Hoyo content, but I do want to be a bit more of a general channel going into the future. Thanks for stopping by, and if you like the video, feel free to leave a like. If you dislike it, then feel free to do all the same. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I look forward to seeing what you all have to say. Until the next video, my name's Leafy, and I'll see you all next time. Sayonara. You got my hand, it's